Okay, so we got some good news and some even better news tonight. The good news is that Sony has patented some prescription glasses for use with VR headsets. So you may be asking yourself, why do I care about prescription glasses? It's, it's not like I wear the, the things or the headset isn't adjustable or something like that. So the thing that's special about these things is that they would use eye tracking. And that being said, they would only show a portion of the screen rather than the whole thing. Making it easier for your for your games to give a better graphical display or possibly even run faster, crash less, or essentially just be better. Because it doesn't have to show the whole thing rather than rather than showing the entire world at once, it only has to show maybe a third like half at the most and even then some of that you wouldn't even see out of your peripheral vision so yeah but the fact is that is going to drive up the cost for some people who, who want to jump into PlayStation VR who haven't gotten the chance yet because I'll, I don't know about you but my glasses even after insurance, they were like $70. And I... I don't really feel like tacking on... Well, in, in total, they were like 200 But I, I don't know about you, but I don't really feel like tacking on an extra $200 onto a, a VR system that already requires a $400 piece of equipment. But, if you guys are willing to go for that, then be my guest. Next up, so, the next piece of news we have is about it is about the demos that are going to be going on in 40 different states around the contiguous United States for the Nintendo Labo VR. As, as I said, those are going to be going on in Best Buy locations this Friday, April 12th, between 11 and 2.30 p.m. And that list where you can find each of those locations is going to be in the description down below. So, do check that out. Okay, now for some even better news... We have news about how the there is going to be a new way for you to get all of your modded songs for Beat Saber. As you may have heard, I put out a video a couple days ago about how Mod Saber was going to be going down. However, there is a new service that is going to be going up called Beat Saber Mod Manager can find it from GitHub, and that is going to help you get all of the mods you wanted, all the additions, and all that, so that will help you out in the meantime, while Mod Saber, in the event you still feel like doing that, is working on getting a more permanent solution following Beat Saber's continuous updates. And DLCs and stuff. Links for those will be in the description down below, so do keep an eye out for that. And the very last bit of news today is something I've found rather interesting, and that is the idea of, well, mixing augmented reality with the virtual reality in such a way. Well, one of the best examples used in the article I found was Pokemon Go crossed with Skyrim VR. 
Now, the best thing that I find about this is the simple fact that this this creates a level of community engagement that is difficult to find in many VR games. Of course, there's the the standard shooter model, but more often than not, it's a single person engagement. However, using this form of aug of augmented reality, you can you can end up in interacting with other members of a group far, far better because you'll be able to interact every person will be able to interact with a known shared location in an otherwise fragmented world which is it's just remarkable when you think about it um, that link as well as the video link are going to be in the description down below so check that out if you guys liked all this news uh, let me know if you hated it let me know and as always don't forget to tell me how my voice is so angelic and otherworldly and definitely not scratches on a chalkboard so talk to you for now